and welcome into the 2019 U19 World Championships here in women's lacrosse. We're down to two teams now, Amanda, John Lawrence, Amanda Mastera, and uh, we started off with 22. We've got two left, and this is a rematch of 2015 in which Canada beat the U.S. 9-8. to eight. That was over in Scotland, so revenge definitely on the minds here of the U.S. Yeah, you know, Team USA talks about having a chip on their shoulder and, frankly, talking about having no weaknesses. Um, Canada, Scott Teeter, not a stranger to this gold medal match. I think this is going to be a great matchup today. I think so, too, and uh, we'll take a look at uh, some of the highlights and how these two teams got here first we'll start off with Canada and Canada getting the uh, win versus England 10 to 7 in that one semifinal you know that was a fantastic game back and forth they've done a phenomenal job on placement of shots really finding the back of the net throwing in multiple fakes impressive shooting percentage going into this game today and Kylie Dobson who had four goals in that game for team Canada and uh, again, an impressive win here. They had to come from behind. They were down seven to five at one point and uh, roared all the way back to, again, get uh, here to the gold medal game. So terrific job here by Canada. As uh, we'll take a look now at some of the highlights here on the U.S. got here. They beat Australia convincingly 21 to six. Yeah, USA having a lethal defense. We'll take a look here, starting behind at X, quick shots. They are known for their lethal bullet shots. Fantastic job by USA in those semifinal games. And Isabel Skane, who had an outstanding game with four goals in that contest. And you saw the opening goal by Megan Carney. Carney with an assist here on a goal by Skane. And the U.S. Uh, continue to roll as they, again, uh, beat Australia by a final score of 21 to 6. So, again, uh, this is a, a matchup from the last time around 2015. Look forward to a good one here today between these two squads. Actually, let's uh, take a look at some of the stats here first for Canada, the home team. Yeah, we talk about both these teams having multiple threats. Kylie Dobson, number 14, 16 goals, a threat on attack as far as assists and loose balls. Eve Hritzik, who taught us how to do it behind the back a few days ago, 13 goals, five assists. We can continue on, number 26, Annabelle Child. Um, she dominates on the draw circle for Canada. Number 17, Jordan Saburn, 70 out of 103 draw wins kennedy scott seven goals in these last games sean lee wallace 13 goals um she's a, a definitely a lethal assister for sure she helps out her teammates get the ball in the back of the net and of course number 39 excuse me 29 reagan wilson eight goals both goalies very strong and we'll take a look at some stats here for the united states as well both teams have uh, a lot of options offensively and uh, the u.s sure has that yeah, you know, you talk to Coach Kelly Amonte Hiller, she'll tell you that she's got a lethal everything. Right now we have number 14, Maddie Jenner, showing that she can dominate on this draw. We have yet to see anyone really stop her. Um, at this tournament, 81 out of 107 on draw wins, 53 draw controls. Caitlin Wurzberger, 20 goals. 20 goals alone, 17 assists, five cause turnovers. Megan Carney, Leah Holmes, Casey Choma, all lethal on attack and in the midfield defense. Of course, you referred to Isabel Skane, 18 goals, eight assists, and three cause turnovers. Well, it should be a good matchup here between the United States and Canada here at the 2019 U19 World Championships. They met once on Sunday, in which the U.S. won 13 to five. So we'll see how it all shakes out here today. And again, we're live here at uh, Trent University here awaiting this gold medal game here between the United States and Canada. And we'll take a break here, be back with more in a moment on the LAX Sports Network and also the Olympic Channel. The Northeast Sports Network, world-class production, state-of-the-art equipment, production capabilities for events of any size, anywhere. Our high-definition broadcasts have wowed our fans around the globe. Give your event the coverage it deserves. Give your fans the best. Contact NSN, pioneering live sports coverage in New England and beyond. And welcome back here to Trent University, the site of the 2019 Lacrosse Women's U19 World Championships here on the LAC Sports Network and the Olympic Channel, set for the gold medal game between the United States and Canada. As the Canadians come in as the visiting team, they are 5-1 and one on the year. And uh, for the home squad USA, they are 6-0 and oh here in this tournament. Head coach Kelly Amonte-Hiller and uh, the head coach Scott Teeter 
here for Canada. And again, these two teams met up uh, back on Sunday, a 13 to five win for the U.S. along with Amanda Masterum. Amanda, what do you expect here from Canada to try to alter that outcome from Sunday? You know, even though right now Canada is technically the away team, they have home team advantage. The, the stands are packed. The energy is electric. I think this game should be a very competitive one back and forth both teams making adjustments in those semifinal games i think we've got a game on our hands today and scott teeter said uh, that his team has got to play better than they did against england they were trailing seven to five heading into the fourth quarter and uh, they did get a seven and oh second quarter and other than that it was six five the other times uh, during that matchup so uh, again, this is a, a team that has to come out on all cylinders to beat a United States team that is stacked from top to bottom. We talked just a moment ago about some of the great weapons. Isabel Skane, who had an outstanding day versus Australia in that 21-6 victory in the semifinals. But just so many weapons on both these sides, you really can't focus in on one player. You know, we've talked about this a lot throughout the tournament, but this is going to be a great display of draw control. You control the draw, you control the game, and I think it's operation uh, for Canada to shut down Maddie Jenner. And Caitlin Wurzberger said uh, in an interview that uh, there's no player from that uh, 2015 team on this roster, but she said for the United States, revenge definitely is on their mind. They want to be the uh, champs again after four straight victories. And we'll have the announcements here for the players here coming up. The United States and Canada. Again, Canada technically the away team, but they will have their white uniforms with the red numerals and the United States in their blue with the white numerals. And first the introductions here for Team Canada. And Paige Pagano from Toronto, Ontario. Olivia Toll from Oshawa, Ontario. Kennedy Lynch, Eve Ritzik. Brooklyn Walker Welch and Nicole Peroni, number eight. Number nine, one of the captains, Mackenzie Beam. Jordan Dean, number 11. Kylie Dobson out of Oshawa, Ontario. Number 17, Jordan Sabarin. And number 18, Skylar MacArthur, a Peterborough native, getting a nice round of applause. They love her here. One of the other captains, Charlotte Smith, number 19. Ainsley Thurston out of Bell Island, Florida. And Bianca Chevery, number 21. Shonley Wallace, number 22. And number 26 is Annabelle Child and Reagan Wilson, number 29. And their goaltender, Cassidy Eckert. And Scott Teeter, the head coach, a resident of Louisville, Kentucky, and current head coach of the University of Louisville's women's lacrosse team. A Peterborough, Ontario native associate head coach, Allison Daly. Katie Ranger, Emily Boissonneau, part of the coaching staff, along with Kaylin Morissette and Fred Jenner. And there you have Team Canada, the defending champs here in the U19 championships. And now let's take a look at uh, Team USA. Greta Stahl out of Penn Valley, Pennsylvania. Sophia Desenzo out of Foxborough, Mass. Emma Shettig out of Woodbine, Maryland. Number eight is Isabel Smith. Ellie Henson is the captain. Number 11, number 12 is Rachel Hall out of Cypress, Texas. Casey Choma, number 13. Madeline Jenner, number 14. Number 18, Leah Holmes. 19 is Michaela McMahon. Number 21, Caitlin Wurzberger. Number 22, Megan Carney. Number 23, Elizabeth Hillman. Number 26, one of the captains, Alexandra Murphy. Number 27, Isabel Skane. Number 33, Brianna Gross. And Brooklyn Newman, number 35. And the head coach is Kelly Amonte Hall. And both of these coaches have some terrific pedigrees. Uh, Kelly Amonte Hiller. Nine-time NCAA champion, seven as a coach, two as a player, a five-time National Coach of the Year, seven-time American Lacrosse Conference Coach of the Year, and a record of 280 and 73. And again, this for all the marbles for the gold medal here between the United States and Canada.
We'll get set to go here with this gold medal game in just a moment, but first, the national anthems of both the United States and Canada. And set to go for the gold medal game, the United States versus Canada. As the bronze medal game went to Australia, beating England earlier today by a final score of 13 to seven. And these two teams pumped up and ready to go. The crowd is two over 3,000 people estimated here at the match on Sunday. I'd have to say, I think we beat that here today. Yeah, definitely not a open seat in the house right now. You know, we had the pleasure of interviewing Ann Elliott Whitten. She is one of the assistant coaches for Team USA, and she is really, really excited about this game. The girls are too. They're ready to step it up. They've been training for so long, and frankly, they've been training for this game. So we'll be set to go here in just a moment from Trent University here at Justin Chu Stadium in Peterborough, Ontario. The 2019 Women's U19 Lacrosse Championships here on the LAC Sports Network and the Olympic Channel. Glad you could join us here today as we had some uh, well, rainy weather earlier today. Still a bit windy, but a good day for lacrosse here as we get set for this 3 o'clock start time. Yeah, we call this character building weather. It's been a, a tricky one thus far. Um, we have been talking about the international rules. They're a little bit different than maybe what you're used to at home. They aren't collegiate rules exactly. So we play a 3-3-3 three, three, three set, three midfielders, three attack, and three defenders, then one goalie on field. In addition, there is self-start in this game, and there is no possession clock. So if teams possess the ball, they can do so on their attacking end for however long they'd like to. Again, here at Trent University, established in 1964. Peterborough, who hosted this tournament back in 2007, when there were 11 teams, now 22. That makes this the world's largest ever world's women's lacrosse tournament. 
and nine nations competing for the first time in this tournament. Belgium, China, Chinese Taipei, Hong Kong, Jamaica, Kenya, Mexico, Puerto Rico, and Ireland. And we talk about Kenya being the feel-good story, but I'll tell you, the real surprise story, maybe not a surprise to them, but Puerto Rico was just tremendous in this tournament. Yeah, their midfield defense on point, lethal shots. I mean, we talk about this. This is a 22-nation event. It's been incredible to see all these teams come together on an international platform. And it's really, really great to see the way that lacrosse is expanding. We talk a lot about, you know, the immersion of sport and how we continue to grow and develop this internationally in hopes of being part of the 2028 Olympics. And this is a huge step in a right direction. Well, we talked about this uh, USA team and their lethal offense. Isabel Smith with 18 goals. You've got uh, also Caitlin Wurzberger with 20 goals on the uh, tournament, Megan Carney with 10, but she's also a terrific assist player with nine, so she's got a total of 19 points. A 18 goal performance here in the tournament by Isabel Skane and uh, Madison Doucette. What can you say about her? She's been tremendous. 22 saves. She saved 73% of the shots that have come her way. Yeah, she's been unbelievable between the pipes. In addition, really acts as a field player. She comes out of net a lot. She's an option on the transition. She's all around a fantastic player with great lacrosse IQ. And Kelly Amonte Hiller said uh, before this matchup that you really can't focus on one player on Canada either with a, duff, a bunch of different options. Eve Ritzik with 13 goals in the tournament. Kylie Dobson with 16, along with uh, 24 shots on goal, which leads the team. Six goals for Ainsley Thurston, 13 for Shonley Wallace, and eight goals for Reagan Wilson. So many different offensive options. And of course, the defense is great. Uh, Cassidy Eckert has been uh, great between the pipes here, 18 saves. And she has saved 38% of the shots that have come her way. Set to go again, USA in their blue, Canada in white. As Madeline Jenner and Jordan Sabarin on the draw. And this will be a violation here against Canada. So the US will take over early. And Madeline Jenner has been outstanding in this tournament on the draws, 81 for 107. And she's got that great size and strength and speed and she'll be formidable in that circle here today opportunity here for team usa is megan carney will hang it off here for isabel skane canada's defense really talking it up here casey choma with a try and cassidy eckard with a save what a great save right there we had the pleasure of chatting with cassidy before i mean she is mentally prepared for this game Eight goals and six assists for Casey Choma, but couldn't get the one-timer by Cassidy Eckert. And it's still a scoreless game here early in the first. Pretty unusual for Team USA, who has not been on the defensive end much in this tournament. And Rachel Hall gets the starting goal here for Team USA. It's splitting time with Madison Doucette, but I'm sure we'll see Doucette at some point. Here's a pass out in front for Team Canada. And getting clipped up high was Reagan Wilson. And this will be a yellow card here on the United States as Casey Choma will sit out and Canada will be a player up. Yeah, we have an eight meter opportunity right here and we've been talking a lot about eight meter strategy and how to take that. Um, she has a wonderful hash here, different options too. She's got a couple teammates at X. Reagan Wilson, she gets Converged on pretty quickly and Team USA able to take it away. Terrific job there by the defense for Team USA. Yeah, a little surprising that she decided to run in. We know that this USA defense loves to swarm the ball. They're phenomenal in pressuring. And so quick they got to her and able to shut her down quickly. Here's Team USA. And back the other way, Alexandra Murphy able to send it up ahead. And play back behind the net to Caitlin Wurzberger. Wurzberger in this tournament, 20 goals, 17 assists, 23 shots on goal, which leads Team USA. As USA pretty well spread out here, taking their time here on offense. Again, windy conditions, so it could yeah, play some havoc here with some of the passes. Yeah, pretty strategic move right here. They're waiting until they are up a player, because right now, currently, they're out of players, so they're going to wait until they're back to even 
and then they're gonna get back to their lethal attack. Mackenzie Beam defending for Team Canada. As Team USA has it, there's Michaela McMahon able to send it across, grabbed here by Isabel Smith. Smith with 18 goals, five assists, and 22 shots on goal. That's second on the team. Played up now to Isabel Skane. Skane out of Clarkston, Michigan. Played her lacrosse at Cranesbrook, Kingswood. Yeah, good strategy from Team USA right now. And Team Canada not pressuring out. They know how fast USA is, and so they're kind of hanging tight for now. Isabel Skane, who goes to UMass this past year, played in 20 games as a freshman, was named the 2019 Big Ten Freshman of the Year. Kayla McMahon looking over, checking the time here. Yep, and they are officially even. So great job by Team USA here to kill off that uh, penalty, and McMahon now will give it up. It's taken back here by Caitlin Wurzberger. Stepping in, Isabel Skane, and a great save by Cassidy Eckert. Fantastic save. Really hard to even see that shot. She had a couple players right in front of net. Impressive save by Cassidy there. Cassidy out of Burlington, Ontario, plays for the Oakville Lady Hawks. I love Cassidy. She comes from a long lineage of goalies. Her dad was a goalie for Team Canada. I mean, he's really a role model and coach for her. And Cassidy Eckerd wearing the number 35 for Kyle Miller as we have a quick opportunity here for Team USA out in, or rather for Team Canada out in front. Team USA able to break it up. I was gonna mention uh, Miller, a Team Canada goalie who won gold in 2016. And Cassidy said that he had a shin bone replaced and he was suffering from cancer, but that didn't stop him from playing the game that he loved. And she wears that number in his honor. As Team USA will take over. You know, more recently in this game, in the first quarter, it's been ground ball wars across the board. Brianna Gross gets fouled here. Call goes against Kylie Dobson, and Gross will take it ahead here for Team USA. Brooklyn Newman with some good speed through midfield, and she got clipped. Looks like a little bit of a trip right along the sideline. Brooklyn Newman will restart here for Team USA. Good pass down low. Chance on the swivel, little backhanded shot there coming from Megan Carney, but it goes in wide, not a bad look right along the ground. You know, this is a different Team Canada than we saw during the last time these two matched up. You know, high pressure defense, they're calling their slides. They're really pushing USA right now. Played up top to Isabel Skane. Skane looks on as a couple of substitutions come in here on the fly here for this attack here for Team USA, Isabel Smith will come out. And actually two new attackers come in, including Elizabeth Hillman. Now Canada defense just hanging tight right there, a foot off the eight, not pressuring out. They don't want to get caught out, not with Team USA, not a fast team like this. Here's Sophie Desenzo out on the attack here for Team USA. Throwing up top here to Skane. Skane looks, able to find Hillman. Hillman gets pushed off the play. Great defense by Canada right there. Skane down low with a pass and getting hit there was Megan Carney. And this will be a free position opportunity here inside the eight meter. There's a replay of that right here. Megan Carney, 10 goals and nine assists here in the tournament. And her pass is partially picked off there by Canada's Annabelle Child. See if the U.S. can gather it back up and it'll be Canada's ball. After the trap there by Team USA, eight minutes to go here in the first. No score between Canada and the U.S. Gold medal game is an errant pass there and chasing it down for Canada is Reagan Wilson. Olivia Toll who was here in 2007 along with Paige Pagano to see the 
Canadian team win gold as that pass uh, over the head of its intended receiver, so the U.S. will get control back. Good idea, delivery a little too far on that. Here's Desenzo, far side here for Team USA. Seven goals and assist, five draw controls here for Desenzo. It's back behind the net, here's Wurzberger. She gets chopped at here by Beam. And a call goes against Beam. Restart here for Team USA. Option goes over left side here to Skane. Now to Hillman. See that right brace on her right knee. That's still moving quite well. You know, USA right now trying to set picks for ball. Megan Carney with a shot, but a great job by Canada's Mackenzie Beam. You know, this is pretty impressive. We really haven't seen a team hold USA back. And Cassidy Eckert giving uh, Mackenzie Beam a little tap on the shoulder to say good job. Mackenzie Beam, one of the captains here for Team Canada. And this will be a call here against Team Canada and Mackenzie Beam. You know, the fans unhappy about that from Canada. And here's a free position opportunity here inside the eight meter. And the shot score here for Team USA. They lead it one to nothing. Great eight meter opportunity there, and she really seals the deal by getting the ball in the back of that. Here's the replay of that. This is a hard hash to make, a really hard angle to make, but she seals the deal for Team USA, who are officially on the board. It's a 1 0 game, Team USA. And again, another angle that uh, free position chance here for Team USA as the goal comes from Leah Holmes here for the United States. And a one nothing lead here with 5.27 to go. Leah Holmes with 14 goals now in the tournament, but Canada able to control this draw as that pass missed Peroni. Peroni will chase it down, bobbles it, grabbed back by Team USA, Alexandra Murphy able to send it ahead here to Choma. You know, not the game you want to make that kind of mistake. You dominated on that draw, shutting down Maddie Jenner, and then we have an overshot pass there. Isabel Smith with a pass there to Skane. Skane able to pick it up. Skane jutes her way in front. She shoots and scores. Isabel Skane, her first of the game. It's two to nothing, United States. You know, Canada with a great opportunity there. A mistake really set them back. There's still a lot of game to be played, and we have another draw about to be set up, but here we have a, a replay of that shot. The initial pass dropped for a second, picks it right back up and rips it on the goalie's hip. Here's a replay again. You can see that she really pulls the goalie to that left post, the goalie's left post, and then shoots to the opposite side hip. And great composure by Isabel Skane after bobbling that first pass. Managed to uh, recoup and get the goal. That's her 19th of this tournament, and it makes it 2 nothing Team USA. Now it's a pretty nice stat, 19th of this tournament. This is their eighth game. And Madeline Jenner getting set for the draw. Opposite Jordan Sabarin. And it's scooped up by Team USA here and Bri Brianna Gross. Gross chucking down that right side. Reagan Wilson stays with her and knocks her out of bounds here. So the foul called here against uh, Team Canada. Six shots for Team USA, none so far for Canada. Canadian fans looking for something to cheer about. Team USA has had plenty so far. That wind picking up, we talk about weather conditions a lot, but it's hard to hear your coach if you can't, you know, barely hear yourself on the field right now. So these players across the board have to communicate efficiently. Isabel Skane being forced back. Good defensive job there by Reagan Wilson here for Team Canada. Across to Skane again, near side. Now to Megan Carney. So we have a whistle here. Looks like we have a push call. Gonna have an eight meter opportunity again. And this will go for Caitlin Wurzberger. Looking for her first goal of the game. One on one here with Cassidy Eckert. 
But she'll pass it right side, shot goes in wide. And that was Michaela McMahon. Good look there by Wurzberger. But a sharp angle there for McMahon and not able to put it through. But Carney, good hustle, keeps control here for Team USA. Here's Skane, cross pass to McMahon. Up top there for Casey Choma. Shot saved by Eckert. Eckert really stepping up in this game thus far. That is a huge save. You have a player right there on the doorstep. Here's the save right here. Unbelievable, quick, quick ball movement. And then she makes it unbelievably quick save. Isabel Smith looking for her 19th goal of this tournament. And she is stymied there by Eckert. And still a two nothing lead here for Team USA. With 28 to go here in the first. You know, Canada right now, doing a great job putting in the work, holding USA to only two shots or two goals thus far, but then losing it in the midfield. And this is about the third time they've lost it on transition. Here's Michaela McMahon here for Team USA. Able to pull up, sends it left side here for Isabel Skane with one goal so far in the game. Leah Holmes the other on the free position inside the eight meter. Down to a minute 20 here as Skane takes a look. As Michaela McMahon will check out here on the attack. New attacker coming in here for Team USA. And that is Leah Holmes, one of the two goal scorers. Caitlin Wurzberger, now to Skane. Nice pass in front and getting knocked down there is Ellie Hansen here for Team USA, so a chance for them inside the eight meter. You know, I was just gonna say, Canada playing a very physically aggressive defense right now. So here's Elle Hansen here for Team USA. She shoots and scores. First of the game for Elle Hansen, and it's a three nothing lead here for Team USA. Fantastic shot placement on that eight meter. And here's a replay of that shot and celebration, mind you. What a tough shot to make. Again, USA known for really pulling the goalie in an opposite direction, shooting against her momentum, displaying that right here. Four goals now in the tournament for L. Hansen, and it's a 3-0 lead here with 30 seconds to play in the first. Gold medal game here between Canada and the United States. The United States crowd pumped up. Canada trying to get their team motivated. As Madeline Jenner will take the draw here for Team USA. And Jordan Sabarin. And Sabarin trying to gather it up here with some help from uh, Kennedy Lynch. And Lynch here after getting fouled here by Skane will restart it here for Team Canada. Here's Charlotte Smith, and foul call here against uh, Emma Shedding here for Team USA. You know, we were talking about this before, the ball travels faster in the air than it does in your stick. Team Canada really needing to move that ball instead of running it down, because USA will definitely attack you. Charlotte Smith pulls up, hands it off now to Annabelle Child. Shot from far out, and a great save there by Rachel Hall as teeing up with Shonley Wallace. You know, as time expires here in the first. You know, great idea. She looked at that clock. You know, you got point, you know, four left. You're going to rip that shot. So Team USA with a 3 nothing lead here over Canada as we have played one quarter. A goal from L. Hansen, another one from Leah Holmes, and one from Isabel Skane. And I believe we have a clip here with uh, you coming up and a uh, conversation. So you've done an unbelievable job between the pipes at this tournament. What is it like being a goalie mentally? How do you mentally prepare for something like this? Um, I think luckily I've had a lot of practice with it. I've been playing for a long time, but mentally sometimes, you know, when you get like those back-to-back -back goals scored on you and you think you've had them, like it really helps when like I have a strong defense that like that I do and they're really encouraging and even um, our defensive or even like our whole coaching staff, they're always so encouraging and even my dad like always told me you have to forget about the next like 
forget about the last one, always focus on the next one, and that's also something that uh, Allison Daly, who our goalie coach, is always focuses on. Awesome. Yeah, we talk about that a lot. Goalies having short-term memory loss, forgetting about it, right, and pretending like it's a 0-0 zero, zero goal game. Um, so talk to me a little bit about your dad or, or lacrosse heroes, for that matter. Who really inspires you on the field? Yeah, so my dad, when I was growing up, he played lacrosse, and I don't think he had any, like, you know, like want for me to be a lacrosse goalie. He just thought, you know, I'd give it a try. And sure enough, I loved it. I got in the net and my dad being the, like you said, the Canadian uh, lacrosse goalie when he was 17 for the U19 team, he always told me like, you know, you can either be like good or great. And if you want to be a team Canada, you have to be great. And he goes, I love you either way. But so I think that was just like, you know, a really big like step for me for team Canada was being like, you know, my dad was great enough to make team Canada and I want to try and follow in his footsteps. Unbelievable. And how does it feel going into the gold medal championship game? I'm so excited. You know, our whole team's fired up about it. Like we want to go back to pack and defend gold, especially on home turf. And I know that the fans are going to bring it. Our coaches are going to bring it. And I can tell you right now that the girls are definitely going to bring it on the field tomorrow. Awesome. And back here at uh, Trent University, three nothing lead for Team USA over Team Canada. Second quarter set to start as Team USA looks to get control early and grabbing it, Brianna Gross. But uh, the call will go against Team USA in Canada. Yeah, you know, Team we'll USA um, stepped over the line before possession was made. Here's Jordan Sabrin with a pass. Shot score there by Kylie Dobson. You know, if a team ever needed a goal, it was Team Canada right now. What fast ball movement, really using that to their advantage, not waiting for USA to get back and ripping that shot. Here's a replay. A replay of the turf and we're going to reset we are back to rain here so very key that after each goal we check the sticks to ensure that they are legal six tend to stretch out in this kind of weather and that is the 17th goal of the tournament for kylie dobson and cuts the lead to three to one so as you mentioned an important goal here for team canada trying to stop the momentum here for team usa and uh, getting a break here with the end of the first quarter and Coming out strong here with that goal by Kylie Dobson. And a great goal too, because she was looking like she was gonna pass and then she ripped her shot, the goalie's right side hip. And Jordan Sabarin here on the draw for Team Canada. Madeline Jenner for Team USA. Scooped up here by Team Canada. Annabelle Child will take it ahead. Child spins, takes the shot, and she scores. Unbelievable. The crowd is losing it right now. Absolutely losing it. We talk about change of momentum here. Canada really coming out of that second quarter, ready to go. Fantastic shot placement yet again. Here's a replay of that shot. Her stick is initially high. She drops it and rips it low. And the sixth goal of the tournament for Annabelle Child. It cuts the lead now to three to two, and the Canadian fans pumped up. You know, this is the closest game Team USA has seen in the World Championship game. So this is a game on our hands here, and it's loud in the stands. I imagine these players can barely hear themselves think. And a face-off violation here against uh, Team USA. And Jordan Sabarin here will start it off here for Team Canada. Pass to Annabelle Child. Child cutting back left, able to get around Desenzo. Team Canada here will set things up, but uh, play whistle down here. And we have a call here against uh, Team USA. It's going to go against uh, Brianna Gross. Just outside the eight meter here for Team Canada. Eve Hritzik will take it here for Team Canada. We'll back her up just a little bit. 13 goals, five assists, and 20 shots on goal for Eve Hritzik here for Team Canada. One of those deadly weapons here that head coach Scott Teeter has at his disposal. And she is phenomenal at a behind the back shot. She was teaching me how to do it a few days ago. She makes it look so easy. Tenacious defense here by Sofia Desenzo here for Team USA, but Canada, nice job to break that pressure as Reagan Wilson will send it here left side. 
And settled down here by Team Canada's Kylie Dobson, the goal scorer. Dobson with a flip back behind the net. Looked like Rachel Hall got caught out of the net. And an opportunity here for Team Canada, but a call yeah. against here Team USA as Brooklyn Newman gets called. And an opportunity here inside the eight meter for Canada. Yeah, it looks like we have a dangerous check. And we'll see that again. Again, the uh, shot up high by Sophia Desenzo and a chance here for Team Canada. A pass uh, handcuffs a little bit Shonley Wallace, but picked back up by Reagan Wilson here for Team Canada. You know, we talk often about eight meter and decision making. That was smart lacrosse IQ, not taking a low angle shot, but moving the ball instead. Shonley Wallace here for Team Canada. Again, Team USA coming out strong here defensively. We'll push here from Brooklyn Newman, but Wallace able to break free. Wallace cuts her way in front, loses control of the ball. It's loose up top here as Hillman looks for it, but it's finally scooped up by Rachel Hall here for Team USA, but. Yeah, they got a call right now. Yeah. Dangerous check. That goes against Eve Ritzik. So Team USA here will bring it ahead. This is Brooklyn Newman. Nice pass up to Isabel Skane. Skane already with a goal. Skane shoots and she scores. USA answering back and answering back quickly on that goal. Four to two US here with under 10 minutes to play in the second. Second of the game for Isabel Skane. We have a replay of that shot. Great placement. She pulls to her left side and rips that shot on the goalie's left hip. And an even 20 goals now for Isabel Skane here in this tournament. That ties Caitlin Wurzberger for the team lead. What a stat. You know, we've only been here for, they've had seven games. This is the eighth game. What a huge stat. And 40 goals between the two players here in those games. As Sabarin and Jenner again here on the draw. Jenner dives for it, loses her balance. Picked up here by Team Canada. Good job by Sabrin, but play whistle down here on a call against uh, Isabel Skane here for the U.S. Long pass almost picked off by Team USA, and it's going to go out of bounds, but it will be Team Canada's as it was touched by Brianna Gross. You know, we've seen a very physical game. This is the gold medal match. I mean, these teams have nothing to lose at this point, so they're leaving it all on the field. Charlotte Smith will take it here for Team Canada. Get a break there from Team Canada as that pass was definitely going to go over her head. But now a steal back here by Brianna Gross. Gross now to Wurzberger. Or check that Skane. Skane comes down one on three and she gets fouled inside the eight meter and will have an opportunity here on a free position. You know, we've talked about fouls and how it slows down the game. In that situation, it's not an awful strategy to slow down that player. An eight meter shot is certainly better than just a, a one on one on to goal. Skane looks around, looks to her left against Eckert, shoots and scores. Three goals now for Isabel Skane, and the United States leads it 5-2. to two. And now she's got the team lead with 21 goals. We have a replay of that eight-meter shot. She takes about two steps in, ripping that bouncer in the back of the net. You know, Cassidy Eckert, you could see how frustrated she is, but I asked her before this game, she says, you had to have short-term memory loss. Pretend like that didn't happen. And what was impressive about that shot, too, was the fact that it looked like it was all wrist. There was almost no arm movement in it, so it shows you how strong her wrists are and just able to snap that from that far out. Impressive goal there for Isabel Skane, her third of the match. As Jenner picks it up, she gets fouled here, and Jenner will restart it here for Team USA. Battling here with Jordan Sabarin. U.S. with a pass there. Brianna Gross trying to corral it. Again, if you bobble a pass just even a little bit, the other team is on you in a nanosecond to try to get a takeaway. So, so important that those passes are crisp and accurate. Yeah, you can't afford to make mistakes with a Team USA like this. They're relentless on redefending ground balls and contact. Play whistle down here and a foul away from the ball here on uh, Canada's Jordan Dean. 
And a restart here for Team USA. Michaela McMahon to Megan Carney and a great save by Eckert. Fantastic save right there. And we talked about it, you know, she pretends like that last goal didn't happen. And, and I think she demonstrates that right now by still making some great saves. And Eckert has stymied Megan Carney a couple of times here early in this game. Team Canada able to break the uh, high pressure and Olivia Toll will backtrack and send it back to Mackenzie Beam. Crossfield pass here to Jordan Dean. Now onto the stick here of Annabelle Child. Child gets fouled from behind here by Caitlin Wurzberger. And a restart here as Child will take it. With 5.53 to play here in the second. 5-2 lead for Team USA. Annabelle Child, McMahon on her. Child looking for maybe a pick here. Yeah, they're looking to set picks on ball right now and roll off on the inside. Wallace around the horn. Taken by Kennedy Lynch here for Team Canada. And thrown back up top here to Child. McMahon on her, there's that pick. Is Child having a hard time shaking McMahon. He's got some great speed. You know, USA doubling the ball right now, which means the girl for Canada, the player from Canada, who is on the opposite side of ball is open. Kind of like a mirror. And a dangerous play. Here's a replay of that call. Isabel Smith will sit out. Yeah, she gets knocked right there in the goggles. And a check to the head by Isabel Smith. So Team USA down a player. Canada up a player. They really have to use this. Trailing at five to two. Opportunity in tight here, and this will be a foul here against uh, Team USA as penetrating in deep was Kylie Dobson, who's got one of the two Canadian goals. I've got another eight meter opportunity for shooting space right now. Dobson with 17 goals in the tournament. Couldn't get the shot through there, a tough angle. And a great job there defensively by Team USA to cut that shot off. Here's Wallace. We'll kick it back up top to Reagan Wilson. Great ball movement by Canada. Trying to move the ball fast so they can find that open player. And a terrific save there by Rachel Hall as team one up was Eve Ritzik. Twelve, 12 shots to four in favor of Team USA with under four minutes now to play in the second. As the Team USA player gets uh, knocked down right in front of the Team USA bench. Here's a replay of that. And Eve Hritzik knocking down Brooklyn Newman. And Hritzik will set up in behind Newman. And Newman uh, feeling the back of the head there as uh, she was a little shaken up. Yeah, USA coach is not happy about that. Here's Brooklyn Newman here for Team USA. With her defensively, Bianca Chevery. And Newman got knocked over again here. Nothing called this time as Team USA sets up the attack. Here's Caitlin Wurzberger. 20 goals in the tournament here for Wurzberger for Team USA. Along with 17 assists, 23 shots on goal heading into the game. A couple of new attackers come out here for Team USA, including Emma Shedding. Isabel Skane up top. Out there with Casey Choma. Choma with a terrific opportunity earlier in this game. Right along the goal line. Pass there is deflected, I believe. As, no, actually it did not. Went right over the head of uh, Sofia Desenzo. So it'll be Canada's possession. Just overshot its intended receiver. I love the speed in the midfield. She does not want USA to collapse in. Bianca Chevery in deep here for Team Canada. Shot there and a save by Rachel Hall as Annabelle Child with the opportunity. Remember a couple of these saves here by Rachel Hall. Fantastic save. 
Oh, we got a call. Call on the field. And Team Canada's Kylie Dobson thought she had a steal, would have been one-on-one -on -one with Rachel Hall, but play whistle down here against Canada. And head for Team USA, Emma Shettig. Shettig up top to Skane. Skane out there with Desenzo. Up at the top of the eight meters. Leah Holmes now trotting her way behind the net here for Team USA as L. Hansen has also joined the attack here for the Americans. You know, Team USA very strategic in how they sub. They pull the ball very far out and they sub on the fly. Nice pass inside, but before uh, Caitlin Wurzberger could tee up a shot, the foul called here against Team Canada. And a shooting space foul and an opportunity here for Team USA. This is Leah Holmes. Holmes with a try, she gets knocked down. And we have a second call right here. That's gonna go against uh, Brooker Walker Welch here for Team There's Canada. A replay of that. Two players converging, including Annabelle Child as Leah Holmes again with a try. Between the legs, she scores. Second of the game for Leah Holmes. It's six to two U.S. Fantastic placement. You'll see this. U.S. is known for shooting off goalies momentum, pulling them to the opposite side of the cage and ripping a shot to the goalies opposite side. Here's a replay of it. Incredible lefty shot there. So Leah Holmes with her second of the uh, contest or 15th of the tournament to go along with eight assists and 14 shots on goal heading into this game. 13 to five, now the shots in favor of the Americans. 30 seconds to go here in the second. You know, 30 seconds left, you really want the momentum with your team. You wanna leave on a good note. Ball loose as USA tries to knock it down with Brianna Gross. Nice long stick there for Madeline Jenner. Using her size to her advantage, she'll take it ahead, weaving her way through Canadian defenders, still holding on to the ball. Impressive ball cradling there by Madeline Jenner. Played back behind the net, Wurzberger sets up one of her attackers, shot score here for Team USA, L. Hansen, her second of the game. You know, we were just talking about Team USA and how they shoot. That was a prime example of pulling the goalie to her left post and ripping the shot stick side high and a tough angle there for l hansen but again she's got her second of the match fifth of this tournament and the 14th shot here for team usa and a big goal here to make it seven to two with 4.8 seconds to go jenner and sabarin here again on the draw for team usa and team canada respectively And Leah Holmes with another point in this matchup too. She gets the assist as Team USA's Brianna Gross able to get it ahead, but time will expire. And Team USA with an impressive first two quarters, they lead it seven to two as uh, USA gets three goals from Isabel Skane, two for Leah Holmes, two from L. Hansen. On the other side for Canada, the two goals coming from Kylie Dobson and the other by Annabelle Child. We'll take a break here from the 2019 U19 World Lacrosse Championships here from Peterborough, Ontario. And coming up, Amanda will have a chat with a special guest in just a moment here on the LAX Sports Network and the Olympic Channel.
So we are here with Jim Shearer, who is the Chief Executive Officer of World Lacrosse. Thank you for joining us at halftime, Jim. Um, yeah. This has been a wonderful event, a great platform for this sport and development of the sport worldwide. How do you feel about the World Games? Well, it's been a great competition. The organizing committee, um, Fred and Cheryl, and the entire city of Peterborough have done a phenomenal job of hosting this event. Trent University, Fleming College, great venues, um, incredibly picturesque setting. But most of all, it's been phenomenal play by all of the teams in the event. Yeah, it's been a wonderful event thus far. We talk about 22 different nations coming together on the, under the umbrella of lacrosse. So tell me, any competition, any games that really stood out this week? I think the uh, semifinal with uh, Canada, England was just a tremendous game. 7-5 up for England going into the fourth, and Canada, four unanswered, pulls it out. Crushing blow for England, but a great win for Canada. Yeah, unbelievable competition here. Now, we talk a lot about global immersion and the expansion and development of the sport worldwide. We are one step closer. Not there yet, though. We have tons of work to get done to eventually and hopefully be part of the Olympic Games. And so you are an Olympic athlete yourself. Tell me a little bit about that and your history in the Olympic Games. Former Olympic athlete. But uh, one of the you know most phenomenal experiences in my life, being able to go in the opening ceremonies, step on a field to play in the Olympic Games. And, and the athletes in lacrosse want that dream and they want to have that opportunity. And that's why I'm here. And that's why we're doing what we do at World Lacrosse to try and give the athletes that dream and that experience. Unbelievable. Thank you so much for joining us, Jim. I'll let you get a little bit of a break. Hopefully, if you could change this weather, that'd be great. Well, we have a lot of pull, but not that much. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. served as a member of the World Across Women's Officiating Committee since 2012 and has supported the development of officiating education and training programs. Tachiko has also worked to foster the continued growth and development of lacrosse in the Asia Pacific region while becoming a mentor and ambassador for women's officiating. For the 2019 World Lacrosse Women's U19 World Championship, she served as a head mentor assessor on the women's officiating leadership team. Ladies and gentlemen, Sachito Goto. Congratulations to all the recipients.
And welcome back to the 2019 Lacrosse Women's U19 World Championships. John Lawrence along with Amanda Mascara. And at the half, it's USA 7, Canada 2. Let's take a look at some of the highlights here of the first two quarters. And a strong start for Team USA. Cassidy Eckert unable to make that stop. And Team USA taking a 1-0 lead. Isabel Skein managed to break through and put one through the legs of Cassidy Eckert for a 2-0 lead. Great uh, save there by Eckert on the try by Isabel Smith. And you see another angle there. Has a chance here for the Team USA and getting the goal. L. Hansen, one of two in those first two quarters. As that snapshot coming from Sean Lee Wallace and a good save by Rachel Hall. Team Canada, though, striking back as they came roaring out as we see another replay of that. Another shot right through the legs there and a nice shot it was by Team Canada's Annabelle Child and Childs and Reagan Wilson <laughs> celebrate. And a shot there and a score for Team USA's Leah Holmes. And Isabel Skane with that impressive shot right there. All wrist managed to get one through as uh, Megan Carney again, who was stymied a couple of times by Eckerd. And Rachel Hall, who made some real nice stops late in that second quarter, including one right there on Annabelle Child. And that shot through the legs as Leah Holmes gets her second of this game. And again, Team USA undefeated in this tournament at 6-0. Team Canada 5-1, the only loss for Team Canada coming against Team USA this past Sunday, 13-5. And right now, Team USA rolling with 14 shots, five shots for Canada, two saves for goaltender Rachel Hall. And uh, on the other side, four saves for their goaltender Cassidy Eckert. And we did see uh, Madison Doucette warming up here between the halves. So we'll see if she actually comes out or if that's a little gamemanship here by head coach Kelly Amonte Hillier. Good to have you along here on the LAC Sports Network and the Olympic Channel. 22 countries started out. We're down to these final two here on this 10th day of competition. And uh, what an impressive tournament it's been. A lot of fun, a lot of great uh, representation and terrific fan base here throughout. And a great way to end it all up here with Team USA versus Team Canada for all the marbles for the gold medal. You know, it's been unbelievable seeing all these countries come together on one platform. You know, for the sport of lacrosse, it's been a phenomenal week for these girls. Actually, 10 days. And it'll be Madeline Jenner here on the draw. Jordan Sabarin here for Team Canada as we're ready to start the third quarter. And right off the draw, Brianna Gross able to settle it down here for Team USA. Brought ahead by Leah Holmes. Two goals here in the contest for number 18 for this U.S. team. Kelly Choma. It's been pretty good in this tournament as well. And she has contributed eight goals and six assists here for Team USA. Here's Isabel Skane. Great job defensively calling those slides, making them confidently. Shot score here, Team USA. Leah Holmes, that is her third. And it's an 8-2 lead here for the Americans. So impressive to be able to rip that shot, even though you have two players playing aggressive defense on you. A great sidearm shot. Fantastic job. Leah Holmes now with 16 goals here in the tournament. Came in with 14 shots on net. Impressive day here for number 18 for Team USA. And a six-goal lead here for the Americans. Fourteen twenty, the time on the goal by Leah Holmes, who hails from Larchmont, New York. Plays for the Snipers Elite College Club team and a member of the Northwestern University under head coach Kelly Amonte Hiller. Leah Holmes, one of the youngest players on the team. And one of the last to commit to college, committing to uh, Northwestern this fall and getting a chance here to represent Team USA. And uh, what a great time to shine here in the gold medal game. 
Isaiah Holmes in possession now, sends it to Carney. Carney double team, good chase down there by Mackenzie Beam. Beam still in pursuit, Carney hands it off now to Hillman. Hillman shoots and scores. You know, unfortunate event there for Canada. The slide was not there. We didn't hear much communication. She was left wide open to rip that shot. And the second goal of the tournament for Elizabeth Hillman. Let's take a look at that shot right here. Fantastic placement. And we'll have a timeout here for Team Canada, trailing at 9 to 2 with 12.35 to play here in the third. The gold medal game between Team USA and Team Canada. And a smart move there by Megan Carney, passing it up. And Hillman, who again just came in with one goal, but a huge goal for her out of Falston, Maryland. Played her high school lacrosse at Bel Air and is now a freshman at North Carolina. And Elizabeth, who uh, had a pretty good NCAA quarterfinal matchup against Virginia, scored twice as a freshman. And she was ranked the number one overall incoming freshman in the 2019 inside lacrosse. I don't want to jinx it, but it seems like the rain has tapered off going into or out of this timeout. Got to tell you, if I don't see another raindrop for about another week, I will not be a sad person. I'm telling you, John, the weather was perfect, and then you got here, and it changed. <laughs> it changed. I have been uh, called Charlie Brown on occasion. You know, so. Caitlin Wurzberger, Team USA, unbelievable in this World Championship Games. 20 goals, 17 assists, six loose balls, a four-time All-American. Maddie Doucette in goal, as we thought. She was warming up uh, between uh, the second and third quarters, so she is off to our right, and Cassidy Eckert still off to our left here for Team Canada. Sabrin and Jenner on the draw. You know, we talk a lot about the draw, and if you dominate it, you can dominate the game. We saw Canada really change it up, and it was the first time in a long time Maddie Jenner didn't dominate and they are back to possessing the ball again. And Sabra, no slouch at the draw, 70 of 103 in this tournament. So two strong draw uh, opponents going at one another here. And again, we saw them on Sunday go at it. So I'm sure they're familiar with one another's moves and tendencies as Team Canada here with uh, Kylie Dobson, who's got one of the two Canada goals. Yep, it looks like a dangerous check there. Hit from behind here from Brooklyn Newman. And Kylie Dobson will restart it here and hand it off to Annabelle Child. Child out there with Eve Hritzik as the double team again continues here on Child. Child sends it in front and a shooting space foul here coming up against the U.S. Great job moving the ball fast so they can find that open player. Like we mentioned before, they're double teaming ball, which means the girl who is opposite side is open if they can move the ball fast enough. And here's a try here for Team Canada's Kylie Dobson, stopped here by Madison Doucette. You know, Madison Doucette really loves those bouncers right now and making every stop that's right there at her feet. And what a way to come in to have to face your first shot. Point blank shot there by one of the more dangerous scorers for Canada. But Doucette, again, who's been outstanding, saving 73% of the shots that she has faced. 22 saves here in this tournament. Here's Team USA, Leah Holmes with a try, and Eckert able to make the save. Holmes trying for her fourth goal of the game. And boy, she's got some confidence right now. Definitely driving hard to net right there. The defense didn't have their heads on the swivel. They didn't know where ball was. Shot score, Team USA is Isabel Smith with a great move in front. You know, Team USA, if you give them an inch, they'll take a mile. Isabel Smith makes it 10 to two United States. Let's take a look at that shot right here. Quick catch, two cradles and ripping that shot. Isabel Smith who plays club lacrosse for the Long Island Yellow Jackets has had a terrific tournament. Couple of goals against Australia, three versus England, a four goal output versus Hong Kong. And now gets uh, her first of the game here to make it 10 to two US. As Cassidy Eckert will come out here for Team Canada. Fans of the 
And Paige Pagano will come in here for Team Canada. And she will take over, faces Maddie Jenner right away, and Pagano able to make the stop. Well, we talked about the stop here that Doucette had to make, and Jenner just with a full head of steam and a great job by Pagano. You know, we talked about Jenner a lot during these World Championship games. You know, primarily a draw specialist, sometimes on attack, and, and so it's fun to see her on that attacking end. She really wants a goal. Paige Pagano, her Team Ontario U17 team, was able to uh, win three consecutive years in a row, and she was a big part of that team. As Team USA here will bring it ahead with Sophia Desenzo. Now a cross to L. Henson, who's got uh, two goals here in the game. And flips it up top here to Sophia Desenzo. You know, Canada having a really difficult time safely transitioning, transitioning the ball downfield. As Isabel Skane has it near side and a foul call here against Team Canada. Really drawing that shooting space call, fantastic job. Isabel Skane with three goals. One on one here with Paige Pagano. Skane tries to bounce one by her. And again, using that uh, all of her wrist there in that shot, but just missing on the wide side, but good hustle by Team USA's Sophia Desenzo, who is from Foxborough, Massachusetts. Sophia said that uh, this USA team came, team came together so quickly and the chemistry was so good right away that it was really surprising. And sometimes it takes a while for the chemistry really to get going, but said it was really fast with this team. Here's Skane, breaks through and hits the post. Skane just dominating inside. You know, two Team USA players colliding by accident. And Isabel Child will start things off again here for Team Canada. Trailing it 10 to two with 7.13 to play here in the third. Still plenty of time to go here for Team Canada, but they got to get the uh, momentum back here. Yeah, we haven't really seen a clean transition from them in a while. A lot of, you know, turnovers, a lot of passes being picked off by Team USA. You have to be really smart about your passes. Olivia Toll with a good outlet pass here. Team Canada on the attack here with Bianca Chevery, one of the team captains. Reagan Wilson, who's had a really good tournament here for Team Canada with eight goals and two assists. Now across the way for Chevery. Chevery able to shake away one defender, tries to shake away two. Doucette able to make the save, but a call against Team USA's Alexandra Murphy. Yeah, and we talk about eight meter strategy. She's got a couple options. She has an option up top if they want to get another shooting space call with a better hash angle. Chevery passes it up. Goes up top here to Dobson. And a shooting space call here against uh, Team USA. And that'll go against uh, Alexandra Murphy once again. Free position try here for Team Canada. A little movement here before things got going. And a terrific shot, better save by Rachel Hall as Kennedy Lynch with that last chance. And we got slippery conditions here on the turf right now. And again, the rain has been on and off throughout the day here today, so I'm sure the conditions are a little bit slick out there, despite the fact that uh, we're wearing the best of cleats here as Team USA's Brooklyn Newman gets fouled here, so a restart here for Newman. It's been a rough game for Brooklyn Newman as she got uh, hijacked right in front of her own bench earlier and knocked down. Took a slide along the ground. Team USA's Sofia Desenzo. Crossing now to Casey Choma. Choma, she gets hit. 
And this will be a call here inside the eight meter on Canada. This is gonna be a card. She's gonna be out of the game for the next two minutes. USA is up a player. Here's a look at that right here. See the shot to the head there of Casey Choma. And Kennedy Lynch gets called here. And she'll be out for the next two minutes. So Team USA up a player. Leading it 10 to two with 4.44 to play here in the third. Isabella Skane in no rush. Leading the way with Leah Holmes, both with three goals here in this contest. Skein up top to Wurzberger. Now across to Choma, gets it in deep shot. Megan Carney scores. First of the game for Megan Carney. It's 11-2 United States. You know, a really tough save for any goalie to make when you are that close on the crease right in front of the goalie. She shot right around her. Fantastic shot placement. It looks like we have a timeout on the field. And a timeout for Team Canada, 4-10 to go. USA 11, Canada 2, 22 shots to 7 in favor of the United States. Megan Carney, who is, hails from McKinney, Texas, played her lacrosse at John Paul II High School and going to Syracuse this coming fall. Her coach in the stands right now, no surprise, Gary Gate from Canada in the stands supporting both teams today. And last year as a freshman, Megan Carney, 32 goals, 24 assists for 56 points. Had a game winner versus Georgetown, 19 ground balls, and 10 points in the NCAA tournament games that Syracuse took part in, including a four goal, one assist effort against Northwestern in the quarterfinals. 11-2 yeah. US. You know, we talk about momentum all the time, and, and you got to wonder what these coaches are saying in these huddles. We, there is still a lot of game to be played. We should clarify here in the international game, we play in four quarters, four 15-minute quarters instead of two halves. So there is still ample time to make something happen. A little bit earlier in the bronze game, it was Australia beating England 13-7. That was played right here at uh, Trent University's Justin Chu Stadium. Nice crowd on hand for that one. And a packed house here for Team USA versus Team Canada here for the gold medal. You know, it's great seeing the support here with 22 nations coming together. We have Team Kenya, Kenya in the stands, Jamaica, Puerto Rico. Everyone is here supporting this gold medal match. And Sabarin here in Jenner again on the draw. And it looked like uh, Sabarin a little bit shaken up. She looked like she slipped a little bit. But... Uh, Ball will go against uh, Maddie Jenner, so not a slip. It was a little bit of a push there, so it'll be Team Canada's possession as Reagan Wilson ahead with it. Reagan Wilson wearing number 29 here for Team Canada. Eight goals, two assists, ten shots on goal for Wilson. So we have a foul here against Casey Choma here for Team USA. And Bianca Chevery, one of the captains here for this team, has it near side. Another call here against Team USA. As ahead with it, here comes Canada. Nicole Peroni gets pushed back here by the double team. Bounce pass into Mackenzie Beam. Nice job by Peroni to provide the pick and give Beam an opportunity to escape. Again, relentless defense here by this Team USA, even with an 11-2 lead. And maybe a little too aggressive there as Casey Choma will get called. Yeah, she's going to be carded for that. Let's take a look right here. You know, very unhappy with that call. Pretty vocal about it. Her stick is broken even. We talk about this a lot. Refs aren't always right, but they are never wrong. You have to respect their call. Nicole Peroni starts things back off here for Team Canada. Now to Eve Hritzik. Back to Peroni. Her shot goes over the net and wide. You know, good idea. I imagine a lot of these sticks are a little bit stretched right now because of these wet conditions. 
Cole Peroni, one of the uh, preschoolers who played a mini lacrosse game during the 2007 Women's Lacrosse U19 Championships here in Peterborough and inspired her to represent Team Canada. And here she is, almost got a goal there on goaltender Maddie Doucette. Canada has some work to do here, but they are up a player as Eve Hritzik up top here for Team Canada. You know, these two getting very physical together. I love Eve. She has history in playing a lot of boxer lacrosse here in Canada. She's very aggressive. Isabel Smith on the foul call here for Team USA. Eve Hritzik, pass up top. Good pass there coming from Kennedy Lynch. Into the middle, looking for Dobson. Dobson can't get a beat on it as Wilson able to chase it down. Canada trying to find that open player. They have to move the ball fast. Kennedy Lynch looking for the return pass from Chevery. And uh, it will be USA ball. And Madison Doucette will flip it ahead to an open teammate. That's Michaela McMahon. Looks like we have a call on that check. That's going to go against Team Canada here in McKenzie Beam. And surprising uh, one of her teammates there with a pass. And they'll start it again here. Michaela McMahon for Team USA. Nice long pass up ahead to Isabel Smith. USA holding the ball for just a little bit until they are even. Isabel Skane looking over to her bench, looking at the time here, 32 seconds to go here in the third quarter, 11-2 lead here for Team USA. Isabel Smith being pressured here by Kennedy Lynch. Smith with a goal here in this game. Skane with three. This game looking for one last opportunity before time expires. Takes the shot, goes in wide of Pagano. Great 1v1 defense from Canada right now. Really making contact right before that eight meter, directing them out. And a player coming off here for Team USA looks to be Isabel Skane. Limping right now, not looking good. Another attacker here will come in for Team USA. I believe that's Elizabeth Hillman, who has contributed a goal here in this game. And Wurzberger will start it off here to try to get one last chance, but uh, Team Canada able to take it away, and time will expire here in the third. And Team USA with an 11-2 lead here over Canada as we get set for the all-important fourth quarter. And for all the marbles and the gold medal, here from Peterborough, Canada. And the 2019 U19 Women's World Lacrosse Championships here on the LAC Sports Network and also the Olympic Channel. So far for Team USA, it's been a great day for Leah Holmes and Isabel Skane. We hope Isabel Skane is okay, maybe to return here in the fourth, both with three goals, two for L. Hansen, one for Isabel Smith, and one apiece for Megan Carney and Elizabeth Hillman. And so far, the uh, two goals up on the board, Kylie Dobson and Annabelle Child here for Team Canada. And for Team Canada, what really can they do at this point to try to get back into this? Uh, it seems like that Team USA pressure is just relentless. And it seems like Team Canada having a hard time trying to break the double teams at times. Yeah, I imagine Coach Teeter in his circle right now is giving them a strategy and how to break that. You know, they're, they're doubling the ball, and we talk about this a lot. The girl who is opposite, kind of like there's a mirror facing ball who's on the opposite backside, has been open every time, and, and Canada unable to see that and use it. I imagine in this timeout, he's really drawing it out, telling them what to do. That backdoor cut is open by X if the ball is on the right side of the top of the eight. So I think right now it's operation possess the ball for Canada, make smarter decisions in the midfield. And you see some of the fans here, the Team USA fans, a lot of energy. Team Canada looking to get re-energized here for the fourth as Team USA with an 11-2 lead here over Team Canada for the gold medal. 
Two teams met up on Sunday. Team USA beating Canada 13 to five in front of 3,000 plus here at Trent University. And take a quick time to say thank you to the folks here at Trent University before we uh, wrap things up at the end of the broadcast. They've been great uh, hosts here. The VIP tent has been a uh, Pretty much a lifesaver for me. That's, that's where I've been eating most of my meals, yeah, to be it's honest. Been, it's been our home base, and, and we also want to thank the ball girls. We had a shot of them over there before. I had the pleasure of interviewing a few of them, and I asked them if they had been training for this event, if they had been doing any strength training and conditioning and weight training, and they said, nope, we're just having fun, and we're playing a lot of tag. Well, those young legs have a lot of energy, and... Uh, they need to be out there uh, on this uh, kind of a stage. A lot of pressure for them too. You know, you got to keep on top of your game and make sure you get things rolling here quickly. Is we have the uh, rolling time clock, so time is very precious, especially here for Team Canada. Madeline Jenner able to control off the draw here for Team USA. Used to be used to saying that here during this tournament. Been so good on the draws here, Jenner, who will. Go off here for Team USA. Another attacker will come on. U.S. dominating on the shots on goal, 23 to eight. Sophia Desenzo crossing out Aaliyah Holmes. Three goals here in the game. Yeah, good clean ball movement from Team USA. Setting pick for ball. Desenzo to Holmes. Desenzo trying to provide a pick and she does. She gets switched up here as Skylar MacArthur comes to take on the defensive duties here for Team Canada. Leah Holmes cutting through three defenders side to side. And Holmes will get it again here back up top. Now Team Canada starting to get a bit more aggressive here defensively. Mackenzie Beam. And Beam slips and falls here as Holmes lost the handle on that. We'll see if Team Canada can get a turnover here, but it will be Team USA's possession. You know, Team Canada really putting the pressure on. They're looking behind them. 13 minutes left. They got to respond with some goals right now. Team USA's Caitlin Wurzberger here in the corner. Being met by defender Olivia Toll. Wurzberger cradles outside, able to flip it to Hillman back behind the net. Hillman one-on-one -on -one here with Reagan Wilson. Wilson does a nice job to keep her at bay. Yeah, that's... Initially. <laughs> that second contact, a little bit of a push, a little bit of a bump. And Megan Carney here will take it ahead here for Team USA. Megan Carney, who at uh, McKinney High School, set a record for goals, 288. At 92 goals as a senior at McKinney. Great off-ball movement by Team USA right now. Everyone involved, no one just standing still, setting picks, good clean cuts right in the eight, and popping back out to make space for their teammates. Nice pass down low, shot comes in, and a save there by Paige Pagano. As Emma Shetty getting the opportunity there in tight. And Paige Pagano, who got inspiration from her dad to start playing lacrosse, is a varsity coach in college, and got the love of her sport through her father. It's a little bit of a slip and fall there as uh, Canada has it here with Kennedy Lynch. And up top to Ainsley Thurston. Fast ball movement. We like this from Canada. We haven't seen much of the fast, rapid ball movement we're used to. Walker Welch gives it up here to Eve Ritzik. Pass in tight. Here to Kylie Dobson, and she's got a retreat. Again, great pressure defense here from Team USA. And good decision making, knowing full well that you've been triple teamed to pull it back out and reset. Here's Kennedy Lynch. Pass missed its mark. Nicole Peroni comes out. Able to grab it. Out races Brooklyn Newman for it. A little bit of traffic up there on the 12. 
And number 12, Kylie Dobson has it here for Team Canada. Senzo has just been a monster out there defensively. And a pass there, missed its mark here with Ritzik, but she's able to chase it down. The Hail Mary backside pass. Walker Welch into Dobson, would have been in good position for a shot. Couldn't pull it off here as Ainsley Thurston picks it back up. And a good steal here from Sophia Desenzo. Just mentioned her defense, another outstanding effort there. She's lethal across end line to end line. You know, it just doesn't stop at attack. She redefends. She's fantastic on ground balls and 50-50 and loose balls. And Sophia Desenzo, also a pretty good field hockey player back in high school, 41 goals and 37 assists in her senior year. Multi-sport athlete playing in the spring and in the fall. Sophia from Foxborough, Massachusetts. You know, we talk about multi-sport athletes all the time, but we see that they are better at adjusting on field and off the field if they play more than one sport. Megan Carney, now to Leah Holmes. Under 10 minutes to play here in the fourth, Team USA with an 11-2 lead. Here's McMahon with a good try and a shot between the legs. Score here for Team USA. They lead it 12-2. Unbelievable. A very, very difficult, if not nearly impossible, save to make as a goalie, not being able to see where that shot is coming from. Let's take a look at it right here. Makes that feed. You know, we talk about behind the back shots all the time. The head of your stick sees what you cannot and that's an awesome display. And Caitlin Wurzberger with a goal here for Team USA, one of the prettier goals you'll see, and that is her first of the contest. And it gives Team USA now a 12 to two lead here with 9.06 to play. And Elizabeth Hillman gets the assist on the goal by Caitlin Wurzberger here for Team USA. 12 to two here US. That is the 21st goal of the uh, tournament here for Wurzberger. We've said her name a lot at these World Championship games. She has been lethal for her team and with her team. Annabelle Child controls here for Team Canada. Now to Bianca Chevery. Across the way now for Kylie Dobson, back up top for Wilson. Wallace with a pass that almost handcuffed Chevery. Canada has to generate a goal right now. The momentum shift has happened. Chevery now to Dobson. Dobson bobbles it. Picked back up for a moment by Chevery, but she lost it. And Team USA able to scoop it up. Ahead with it comes Brooklyn Newman. And a hit there, I believe, by Hritzik. Yeah, we're going to have a, a card on that play. She is out for the next two minutes. Let's take a look. Initially, good hustle there by Hritzik, but that uh, shot to uh, Brooklyn Newman. So a two-minute player up advantage here for Team USA as Elizabeth Hillman will take control here for the Americans. Nice pass down low to Carney. Carney's uh, pass was actually hit off of a Canadian defender and almost went in. Canada possesses here is Caitlin Wurzberger. She's got to move that ball. You do not want to be double teamed over by your net. Kenzie Beam with a long pass. And intended here for Chevery. She's able to scoop it up. And some open space here for one of the captains here for Team Canada, Bianca Chevery. Wallace across now for Wilson. One on one with Brianna Gross. Dobson back behind the net. Wallace cutting in front. Team USA, though, staying on the man-to-man -man coverage here. They're going to try to the best of their ability. Wilson now to Dobson. To waste time off that clock until they're even. Try to shoot a pass out in front. Knocked down by the Americans. Good job with the stick there from Isabel Smith. And 
Wallace's pass. Grabbed by Chevery. Gets away from McMahon for a moment, but hesitated, so McMahon an opportunity to catch up. Down to six minutes to play here in the game. 12-2 U.S. The gold medal. You know, Canada really trying to take time off that clock to wait to attack until they are officially even. And it looks like they're good to go. And Eve Fritzik out from her penalty and sends it over here to Reagan Wilson, your side here for Team Canada. Now Dobson has got one of the two Canadian goals here today along with Annabelle Child. Eight shots on goal here for Team Canada, 27 for the United States. Dobson up top to Child. Child breaks through, she shoots and scores. Great drive right there, I love it. She doesn't stop, she goes all the way through and she finishes. She is a finisher for this Canadian team. And that is the second of the game for Annabelle Child as we check out the replay. Great placement right there. Canada's third goal, scored by number 26. And the seventh of the tournament here for Annabelle Child. And makes the score now 12-3 in favor of Team USA. You know, if you're Canada right now, this draw is a non-negotiable. You have to make it happen. Jenner reaches for it here, but uh, be a call here against Team Canada. We have Jordan Sabarin. Jenner will get it going here for Team USA. Thought initially she lost the ball, but she did maintain control. Jenner being worked over here by Chevery. Carney back behind the net, but Caitlin Wurzberger controls here for Team USA and flips it up top here to Greta Stahl. This time we've seen Greta Stahl here out on the attack. Leah Holmes now with it. Flipped alongside of the net, now back here for Carney. Great ball movement here by Team USA. And fantastic slides by Canada right now. I mean, they're talking it up. They're sliding hard. They're sliding quickly, especially across the crease. And Wurzberger here gets fouled. Call will go against Olivia Toll here for Team Canada. Wurzberger to Carney. Shut off quickly with a good defensive effort there by Skyler MacArthur. Played up top to Stahl. Stahl gets a pick. Tries to break through, but Chevery is there to knock it away with 2.54 to play. Greta Stahl, another one of those uh, Northwestern products. Good to see get her getting a chance here late in this contest. Charlotte Smith out there on the attack here for Team Canada, along with Nicole Peroni. Canada being very intentional and working that ball around, looking to generate another goal. Walker Welch to Smith and across near side to Sabarin. Now to Dobson. And not a lot going on in the middle here for Team Canada. Trying to work it to the outside as we're down to under two minutes to play here in the game. Thrown out in front. Chance here goes in wide of Doucette as Peroni with that last opportunity. And again, great hustle here for both these teams. Yeah, we talk about this a lot. This is a game of inches. If you can push yourself a little bit further, a little bit faster, you can get possession of the ball. And USA demonstrating that here, right here with that possession. Restart here for Team USA. Kylie Dobson still in pursuit here for Team Canada. 
Ball flipped here to Alexandra Murphy. And up ahead to Desenzo. Now Shedding, minute 25 to play. Carney has it. To Greta Stahl. And back to Carney. 27 to 10, the shots on goal here for Team USA. Great defense right now. You can see Canada getting a little bit frustrated, a little more physical. Skyler MacArthur there defensively for Team Canada. Nice pass, shot, Leah Holmes score. Holmes with four goals in the game. USA leads it 13 to three. Great finish right there. A parent actually in the stands calling the open player behind her. Let's take a look. Great placement, a really hard save to make. 17 goals in the tournament for Leah Holmes. And to get her fourth of the game to lead this USA squad. You know, I was talking about this in our other games that we've been covering here at the World Championship Games. And it is great to see these teams, even when they are down, never giving up. You know, they fight all the way to the end. And I think that says a lot about maturity and tenacity. Leah Holmes comes out of the game. You saw the uh, congratulations from the bench. And a job well done here for Leah Holmes and the Americans. Jenner and Sabarin here on the draw. Again, it's been a perfect tournament here for Team USA coming into the game 6-0, the only loss for Canada versus the U.S. on Sunday. Yeah, they've get, been getting a lot of press. We've been talking a lot about them and, and how lethal they are. And, and they've demonstrated it throughout the tournament. You know, unbelievable across the board. There's no, you know, they are dominant in both hands. They're so aggressive. This is one of the strongest USA teams I've seen yet. And a shot saved there by Pagano on Caitlin Wurzberger. So Team USA still with her foot on the pedal. It's a long pass, and that is picked off. Nice job there by USA's Madison Doucette. Unbelievable. We were talking about this before. They are very much field players. They're on the field. They come out. They make interceptions. They're an outlet pass. They don't just stay home and goal. And what anticipation there by Doucette. Saw the play un unfolding before her and decided to be proactive. Like to see an aggressive goaltender like that. As we count down, 15 seconds left here in the gold medal game, and Team USA... After being upset in 2015, Team Canada beating them 9-8 to eight to break up a string of four straight wins by Team USA. The Americans set to reclaim gold here today. We were talking about the chip on their shoulder, and here they are coming out with such a phenomenal win. Pretty handed win here today. Megan Carney has it, and that will do it. Team USA, the gold medal winners. And the team will celebrate a 13-3 victory here over Team Canada. You know, it's definitely loud. You can hear those USA fans, but those Canadian fans, pretty silent right now. They should be very proud of how the squad played. You know, unbelievable teams that show up here for that gold medal match. Well, Kaylin Wurzberger said, she said, we wanted to avenge that loss in 2015 and come out here strong, and Team USA did, as, again, they claim their fifth 2019 lacrosse women's u19 world championship and congratulations here to kelly amonte hillier here from team usa scott teeter from team canada canada ends up the tournament five and two the u.s finishes a perfect seven and oh yeah unbelievable job by both teams the players that are out here on the field right now from both usa and canada some of the top players in the world so Leah Holmes with four goals for the United States. Isabel Skane with three, two from L. Hansen. <laughs> Kelly, Coach Kelly Amonte Hiller getting doused right there. Fantastic job. And a goal apiece from Isabel Smith, Kaitlin Wurzberger, Megan Carney, and Elizabeth Hillman. The two goals from Team Canada, Kylie Dobson and Annabelle Child. 29 shots to 10 in favor of the United States. We'll take a quick break here from the 2019 lacrosse women's u19 world championships as the united states wins gold the final usa 13 canada three back in a moment